Hello furniture friends, Katie here from Salvaged by K. Scott. Today I am going to try and do a one day quick and easy makeover of my own buffet with some brand new all-in-one furniture paint, one by Melange. This week I'm going to be making over my own buffet, which has actually already been made over once before. About a year and a half ago, I stripped off the old dark failing factory finish and stripped it back all the way to bare wood. I gave it a light wash of some chalk paint and then sealed the whole thing up with wax. But since then, we have used and abused this thing. It's still holding up pretty well, but there are some superficial marks on the top and Mostly it just doesn't go with the design scheme of our dining room anymore. So I am going to be painting over my bare wood finish with some brand new paint that was sent to me from Morgan at Melange. I started by removing the knobs and they have this really odd two hole pattern, but only one screw in the back of the drawer. So instead of filling these in and replacing them with a new knob altogether, I'm just going to refresh and reuse these two. Now, when I originally did this bare wood finish, I sealed the buffet with white wax for protection and also to add to the effect a little bit. So before I can add my new paint to it, I need to get that wax off of there. You can remove furniture wax from furniture with mineral spirits, but I'm working in my kitchen today and mineral spirits are super stinky. So I'm going to use some plain old rubbing alcohol to break up this wax. I used a good amount of alcohol on a kitchen scrubby to break up that wax surface and then literally wiped all the residue away with a clean microfiber cloth. If you think of wax over a water-based paint finish, kind of like an oil and water situation, obviously the paint will have a hard time sticking well if there is a wax barrier in the way. Now, it's almost impossible to completely remove all of the wax from bare wood, but I wanna get as much of this off as I can to give my new finish the best chance. Once I was finished with the alcohol, I filled up a bucket with really hot water and some Dawn dish soap to wash away the rest of that waxy residue. And then I rinsed it again with some clean, clear water to remove the soap. Once the buffet was dry to the touch, I gave it a quick rub down with some 220 grit sandpaper to create some tooth on the surface. Since this is already bare wood, it's got a good texture for the paint to hold on to. But if you were going to be painting a piece that already had a factory finish on it or was slick at all, you'd want to do this scuff sand too. I wiped up the sanding dust with my microfiber cloth again, and then I was ready to try and restain this top. I picked up some of Bear's new water-based stain and poly in one from Home Depot and I was really excited to try this out. Because it's a water-based product, it's almost completely odorless, so great to use inside. I gave it a really thorough stir to make sure that all of the components were distributed evenly and then I used a foam applicator to wipe it onto the surface. This is a really good example of how not to apply a product like this. I should have swiped my brush all the way across the surface from one side to the other with the direction of the grain and not gone back over it too much. That way you'll avoid any stop and start marks and get a more natural finish. This Mission Oak color that I'm using wasn't looking so hot after the first application, but I wanted to give it a second coat before I judged it too harshly. This product needs one hour of dry time before recoating, so while that was doing its thing, I started on updating the knobs. I cleaned them off with some more dish soap in the sink and then dried them completely. And out in the garage, I gave them a few quick coats of this Rust-Oleum metallic brown spray paint and left them to dry. I gave the stain another coat and I still just wasn't loving the color of it. So I decided to start painting the base so that I could see the two colors side by side. This is a brand new furniture paint by Melange called One. 
just like the name suggests, it's an all-in-one, one-step paint. It has a built-in primer for adhesion, great color coverage, and a built-in top coat, which means I can get all of those steps done at once. The color that I'm using here is called Restoration Bronze, and it's been popping up all over my Instagram feed. It is a really dark and moody, sort of masculine feeling, olive green, gray, and again, because I'm working inside today, I decided to brush and roll my paint. I used my Zebra Palm Pro to get into the details, and then I used my foam roller to fill in the large flat areas. And this paint has incredible self-leveling, like I've never seen with any other paint. So it doesn't end up drying with that typical orange peel texture that you get when you're rolling, and the brush strokes completely disappear. And I know some of you are thinking that I didn't prime. I know that I usually prime with a shellac based primer, but I do that to avoid unexpected bleed through from old stains or wood tannins. And I totally decided to take a chance on this one and skip that step. This Melange one does have a built in adhesion primer, like I said. So as long as I don't find any trouble areas that want to stain up through the paint, it should be just fine. I also decided to leave the hinges and paint around the door hardware so that I didn't have to fiddle around with trying to get them back into their place later on. This zebra brush makes it incredibly easy to get around these things cleanly. This particular jar of paint was sent to me by Morgan at Melange, and it's actually from a test batch when they were trying to perfect their new formula for this. And you'll see that this paint dries down to a super matte finish, but the one formula that they finally ended up going with will perform exactly the same way that this one does, but it has more of a satin sheen when it's dry. So keep that in mind. Once I got a good look at the paint color next to the stain color, I knew that the stain had to go. I was not a fan of these two together, so I went ahead and just painted the top as well. This paint takes anywhere from two to four hours to dry enough to recoat, depending on the temperature and humidity, of course. But my paint was dry to the touch in about an hour, so I applied my second coat after about an hour and a half. I had great full coverage after my second coat and one, like I said, does have a built-in top coat. So all I have left to do are the finishing touches. To match these hinges to the new copper colored hardware, I used some of this metallic acrylic paint and a tiny little artist brush to apply just the smallest amount of color without gunking up the hinge. And I reinstalled all of the knobs. This buffet has been through multiple makeovers. It is a great solid piece of furniture and I did love it in its bare wood state, but like I said at the beginning of the video, it just doesn't fit in our space in that finish any longer. So I am super pleased with this brand new update.
far as the numbers go on this flip, I used about three quarters of my pint of paint on this piece to paint the inside of the cupboards as well as the entire buffet. And it cost me about $40 to get that pint up here in Canada. So for a built-in primer, a paint and a top coat, I think that's an incredible deal. I also wanna add probably about $10 for the rubbing alcohol, a piece of sandpaper, a couple of sprays of spray paint and a little bit of that metallic acrylic paint. So all in all, we're right around the $50 mark on this one. And if I were going to be listing it here in my market, just outside of the greater Toronto area, I would probably ask anywhere between five and $600. So this one would be a money maker for sure. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and it has inspired you to maybe look at some of your own furniture pieces a little bit differently. If you have any questions for me about this new all-in-one paint by Melange, leave them in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this project. Make sure that you are subscribed before you go and I will catch you guys next week with a dining set makeover. I'm so excited about that.